Hello everyone and welcome to Happy Birthday. Now, today is actually my birthday. Pretend that you care. Um, so I thought, so I was looking for something to play tonight while I had time and I remembered I downloaded this. It's supposed to be some kind of murder mystery thing and well, what better day to play it than now? Probably get a few videos out of this. Anyways, you are hereby invited to a birthday celebration and private party in in honor of Annabelle Marilor's 10th year. Address and date are printed on the back. Please, please RSVP. Uh, I guess linger is load and decline is exit game. Uh, attend we shall then. No. Hack. Pant. Pant. No, go away. It's a dead end. Hack. Please, please don't. Did she get shot? Young girl. Dot, dot, dot. Why? Happy birthday. Get it? It's not a happy birthday because someone just died. Woman's voice. It's so nice to finally get out somewhere, just you and me. Yeah, it's so much fun, but is it bad that we didn't go with them? Don't worry, sweetie, they'll be fine. Your father will take care of it. But I say it would be a shame to waste the warm evening. I doubt we've many before fall. We've many left before fall, you know. I hope we do. I want this summer to last forever. Huh? Where is this? And who? You're the detective hired to find our culprit, dear. Don't you recall? What? Who are you? I'm the landowner of this mansion. A rather wealthy family rented it out earlier this morning to host a birthday party for their young daughter. Unfortunately, the festivities have turned to tragedy. The birthday girl was found dead a few hours ago, murdered, a poor child of only 10 years. The family's elder da daughter has also gone missing. Being the bright young private investigator that you are, you've been hired to sort out this terrible turn of events and save the second girl. Okay, thanks for the exposition. Their father isn't a big fan of the police, you see. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't care if whether you're a fan of the police or not. Your, your ten-year-old child is dies, and your other daughter's missing. First thing you're fucking doing is calling the police. You're not hiring a private investigator. The, the police are gonna uh, be talking to you. No way. Good luck, dear, and please, will you stop lounging around and make haste? It's been a long, terrible night for everyone. Wait. She just... What is this? Okay, am I truly a detective? I can't. I can't be, can I? I mean, I don't know anything about investigating. And I'm not, erm, um, dressed for the part. I don't even have a badge. All I do have to go on is her word. She has to be lying, but why would she? And why am I here? Oh, this is no good. I can't remember anything. How am I supposed to solve a murder when I don't even know my own name? I, I completely agree. You're, you're clearly not qualified for this. Still, if I start hunting down the killer, is it possible that I might find my memories too? Yeah, sure it is possible, but uh, no, it's probably a better idea is having actual investigators figure this out. There has to be a reason I lost them. There has to be a reason I'm here, and I wouldn't even know where else to go if I left. All right, maybe. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Okay, let's figure this shit out then. Tell me more. The loss of a life, especially of one so young, is always tragic, but remember that death is not the end. Bring the person who did this to justice so that little girl can keep on smiling. Sure thing. Okay. Who are you, friend? Man, this is dull. I thought parties were supposed to be fun. Well, I'm sorry the fucking murder ha that happened ruined your fun, pal. Um, excuse me, I'm the detective. Can I ask you some questions? No, I didn't do it. 
Anna was a spoiled pain in the ass, but I didn't kill her. I never said you did. I just want to talk with you. Me, but I'm not even related. I'm her sister's boyfriend. I was here for the party. It's the ghost that got her, I bet. As soon as they find my girlfriend, I'm taking her and getting the hell out of here. G ghost? It's always about ghost. I just want to blow this hellhole. Um, do I even have any items? Why does this text say... I'm not a walking encyclopedia, all right? I never planned on being a witness. I just want to blow this hellhole. Uh, the cause of death. What do you know about what happened to the victim? Nothing. I told you, I don't know. All I heard, all I know is that she was shot. I just want to blow this hellhole. Uh, the sister. So you're dating the sister. What can you tell me about her? I'm working to find her, too. She's everything to me. We've been friends since middle school and finally moved to the next level earlier this year. Even though she's the older one, she's always getting ignored in favor of Anna. Heh. <laughs> Maybe that'll finally stop, at least. A ten-year-old is dead, ya asshole. We're alike in that no one understands either of us. I just want to blow this- okay, I get it. Age. How old are you, by chance? I'm sixteen. Sixteen, and my girlfriend is fourteen. You think I did it, didn't you? Didn't, don't you? Just because I'm a few years older. Well, let me tell you, I'm- No one's accused you of any anything. I just- uh, A ghost. What was this about a ghost? Haven't you heard? This old mansion is supposedly to be seriously haunted. Like, for real. I've heard stories from other people who've been here. They've seen ghosts walking around after dark. Strange ladies, mostly. I bet it was one of them, not me. Huh? G ghost stories? Okay, I have- okay, I have that as evidence, I guess. I don't know much- I don't know much else about those stories, alright? All I know is that they give me the creeps. Well, I guess we're done talking to you. Oop. This way leads outside. I, I can't just walk away. Yes, you can. Very easily, in fact. Lots of a light. Yeah, yeah, I talked to you already. There's another door down here, down there, but let's look around here. And what do we have here? Bedroom one. Is there anything I can check? Open book? Nope. What the hell is the point of coming in here, then? There's all this stuff scattered around, but it's useless. These must be the beds that the siblings used, huh? They supposedly went to bed at 9pm before getting up to use the restroom, but the blankets look perfectly undis- How did- How do you know that? I don't remember hearing about that. It's not normal for kids to make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, is it? Children's bed. Okay, okay. Hmm. Wait, here, this here? No, nothing. Who are you? Anna, I'm so sorry, Anna. Hello, miss. I'm the detective. Can I ask you some questions? It was my fault. I'm the nanny. I was supposed to be watching them. If I'd been doing my job instead of drinking with the others, this never would have happened. You can still help, miss. Anything you can t anything you can tell me is important. Yes? The cause of death. What do you know about what happened to the poor girl? Nothing that my mind won't let me repeat. Oh, Lord. We found her in that closet by the sitting area. And it looked like she was dragged, Anna. Crime scene, okay. I never saw much of her or her sister during the party. I put them to bed at 9 p.m., like I always do at home, but that was about it. I truly regret that now. Okay, so I'm guessing the game expected me to see this before I check the bed? Where were they sleeping? The first bedroom along the hall here. What could have happened? The incident? It was only about 20 minutes after I left them. The first bedroom, huh? Yes. The girls. What was it like taking care of the two sisters? What kind of kids were they? Don't talk about her sister as though she's already dead. I'm still her nanny. They were great kids, both of them. You're still saying were. Anna was very mild and sweet, if perhaps just a tad spoiled. That was only because we all loved her so. Her older sister is a bit more reserved. She was so bright and energetic. Until... Until... Nothing. Uh... What do you have to say about ghost stories? I've heard of those stories, too. People who stayed nights here have told tales about seeing strange women walking the halls. Some some say they've even spoken to them. 
One of the women is said to be the restless spirit of a mother who killed herself after her daughter died of illness. They say she often tries to possess guests at the mansion and steal away children to join her. You don't think it's possible that... Dear Lord, I hope Anna is not one of them now. Well, more ghost stories, I guess. Show item. I don't think I need to show her that. I don't believe there's anything else. Wait, the children's beds. And, okay. Isn't that just the gun laying there? Well, look what we have here. A handgun. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that this was the murder weapon. At least, the witnesses were smart enough not to touch it. Now to use the ballistics to confirm it and check it for fingerprints. If I'm a detective, I must have forensic stuff on me somewhere. Y y yeah, sure, that's how it works. I sure can't find any. Oh, come on, what kind of detective am I? Apparently a pretty poor one, damn. Okay, I'm, I I I'm not exactly super familiar with the process behind crime scene investigation, but I'm pretty sure you, you don't just have a little kit and then bam, you can get you can figure out all the all this shit right on the spot. I'm pretty sure like it, it gets taken back to back to another person or they run some tests or whatever. I don't know. The, the actual CSI shows are a very poor example. Well, I'll work with what I have. Now I wonder who this might belong to. Christ. Sis. Or, oh, sir, sorry. Sir, can I ask you a few questions about what happened? I'm the detective. Oh, sure, of course. I'm the poor gal's uncle. Lord, hard to believe she's... Cause of death. Can you tell me what happened here? Who killed the child? You asked the right person. I'm the only one who here who searched the body. I wrapped the blankets around her. No one else had the guts. She was shot three times. Once in her left leg, once in her right shoulder, and finally, once in the head. There was, gun there was a gunpowder burn on that last one, so it was a close range shot. I reckon that's what did poor Anna in. I see. I used to be a cop. I've seen more than my share of corpses, and I've done it without batting an eyelash, but this... Okay, so you used to be a cop, yet you still thought it was a wise decision for all you people to not call the police. God, you are all stupid. The sister. I've heard the older sister is missing as well. Is this true? Yes, we heard her scream, too. We searched high and low, but there's no sign of her. Find her, will you? Of course. Uh, ghost stories. Those stories are rubbish. Ghosts only exist in the minds of photos of phobics and idealists. She was killed with a gun. A human being was on the other end of that trigger. If you're truly a detective, that's who you should be chasing down, not a phantom. Children's beds. I've already told you everything I know, all right? Christ, I need a drink. A uh, handgun. Crime scene. Gonna check everything. Okay, I guess we're done here. Oh. Well, what's this? Murder me What is this? My memory is completely blank up until a few minutes ago. I'm at a mansion that was the site of a birthday party and a murder. According to the landlady, I'm a private detective who was hired to catch the culprit. If I keep working, perhaps I'll uncover my memories and the reason they disappeared, too. Doubtful. And make a save just in case. All right. Oh, Anna, my sweet Anna. This can't possibly. Excuse me, sir. Who are you? Can't you leave a tormented father alone? Ah, the victim's father. I'm sorry, sir. Terribly sorry for your loss, but I'm the detective hired to help find the killer. Is there anything you can tell me about the victim? Detective? Yes, sir, I was hired. Sir? What was that reaction? I thought he was he was the one who, call, who called for me or something. My Annabelle, she was ten years old today. So beautiful and young. So perfect. I don't... I don't understand how anyone could hurt my girls. I know, sir, I don't understand it either. But I'm here to help find out, so please tell me everything you know. I was talking with guests downstairs in the main lobby when I suddenly heard, gun sh heard gunshots, and then both of my babies scream. I ran up here and... and it was the worst moment of my life. Please, find out who did this and find my oldest daughter before I lose her too. 
Discuss. The cause of death. I'm sorry to ask, sir, but can you tell me about what happened? What killed your little girl? I, I can't. If you want to know more, you'll have to talk to my brother. I'm sorry. The mother. What about the girl's mother? Is she around? I'm sure Mayanna is with her now. My wife passed years ago. Uh, I'm sorry. The sister. You said that you heard your oldest daughter scream, too. Is she still missing? Yes, that's right. What if whoever did this has... Did this to her little sister is after her, too. Please, you you have to find her. I can't lose them both. I can't. Don't worry, sir. I'll find her. Alive. I hope. That's very promising. Uh, what do you have to say about ghost stories, sir? My Anna. My darling Anna. He's not listening to a word I'm saying. It would have to be something to really grab his attention. Uh, crime scene. Gun. That's... That isn't... That isn't what killed my Anna, isn't it? It's hard to say for certain without a forensics examination, but the possibility appears high. It's... That's my gun! Oh dear lord, this can't... Sir, please try to calm down. Where did you keep this gun? It was in my suitcase. Just in my suitcase. I should have listened to her late mother and gotten rid of it. Take it away. I never want to see that thing again. Hmm... Crime scene. Cause of death. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna do that. What's in here? This is where the body was apparently found. The door is locked up. Perhaps it was already removed. Either way, I'm not sure I want to look at it. It's just... I've never seen a dead body before. At least not that I remember. If I'm a detective, I guess I must have, huh? Then why does my chest feel so tight? There's plenty of blood right here. This must be where... It looks like the body was likely dragged from the hallway to the closet. The victim apparently lost a lot of blood in the meantime, too. Drag marks. Hmm. Can I go in here? It looks like this way leads to the bathroom, but it's locked. There's gotta be more people I can check. Wait, I didn't go over here, did I? Master bedroom. Is there even anything I can check in here? Great. I'm gonna be looking around for a bed, aren't I? Nothing. Nothing. There's just nothing in here. Okay, that was a very productive room. Wait, there's something there? What's this, a stray bullet? There are a few traces of blood, but certainly not enough for it to have gone through a body. It's completely on the opposite side of the hallway from the rest of the blood, too. How odd. Interesting. Bedroom 2. Let us look- Oh, there's blood here! Where's this blood coming from? Peek under bed. Ah, there's something under here. Looks like a pair of gloves and a pair of boots. There are traces of blood. Did the killer wear these? If they did, the gloves would keep any fingerprints from collecting on the murder weapon. If I could even check for prints, that is. Curse my lack of forensics. Was the killer trying to hide them here? They weren't exactly expertly obscured. A body would, wouldn't fit here, though. I should find out who these belong to. Bloody prints. Bloody gloves. Hmm. I think I'll save just in case. Anything else in here? This is... Looks like there's a glove print here. I don't believe the victim was wearing gloves. Could the killer have done this? Bloody glove print. I've got a lot more evidence, but I should look around a little more before I start presenting it to everybody. Is there... Oh, right, the bathroom up there. What's this? Another print. This window looks similar to the last one. It's dusty with age. And the... Something is rusted shut. Nothing else seems off. Bloody glove, glove print. Hmm. Alright. There was one more room down here, I think. 
Got anything else to say? Yeah, 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 you nothing. Hey, this bottle's been tossed over. More bottles have been tossed over. Oh, there's no need to rush in checking out the first floor, dear. The crime itself clearly took place on the second, after all. Perhaps you should try examining the crime scene area more thoroughly before moving on. First tell me what my job is, then tell me how to do it. Okay then, fine then. I don't even care. I think I found about as much evidence as I can. Let's start uh, checking everybody. Let's start with the brother. Show item. Uh, bloody boots. Oh, those are my boots. I'd wonder where they'd gotten to. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time I've lost them after drink. They were found hidden with a pair of bloodied gloves. I believe that the killer wore them. Wait, seriously? But, like I said, I'd lost them. You're not thinking that I... It wasn't me. I didn't do this. I haven't accused anyone yet. Hmm. Bloody gloves. I already told you everything I know. Bloody glove prints. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna... Stray bullet. Anything else? Sister's scream. Okay, I don't think he can tell me anymore. Let's go to dad again. Anna. Anna! Bloody boots. My Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody gloves. Uh, bloody glove prints. Straight bullet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, nothing. The nanny. Nanny knows all. Bloody boots. I don't believe there's anything else I can tell you about that. Glove prints. Ah, those are the rubber gloves from the mansion's kitchen. I used that exact same pair when washing dishes earlier. Wait, that doesn't mean I... I put them back on the shelf where they belonged and never touched them again, I swear. Yes. Glove prints. Okay, yeah, I shall do that. Uh, stray bullet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I could... What? What was that? Did it come from the bathroom? What's going on? Damn, the door is locked. I'm not getting anywhere. Any more response from inside, either. That was my baby's voice. You have to get her out. Where's the key? Do you have it? I did have the master key, but after everything, I don't remember where I put it. I've always been poor at keeping track of things, and now... I'll find it. Sorry. Try searching the room where I'm staying, the master bedroom. I probably left it inside somewhere. What shall I ask about? Uh, was the master bedroom to the right here? I think it was. Yeah, okay, yeah. Great. Now we search for the key. It's gotta be here somewhere. Ah, here's the master key. He must have set, set it on the bookshelf and misplaced it. Now they get inside that bathroom. All right. Make a quick little save. Should I unlock the door? I'm coming in. Miss, I'm coming in. Mommy? Why did Sis get in trouble? Why did Daddy have to go with her to talk talk to the principal? It sounds scary. It's nothing too serious, sweetheart. She simply isn't working as hard at school as she needs to be. Why is school so important anyway? Because good grades mean a good college someday, and a good college means a stable and successful future. Really? That's right. Have you thought about what you might want to be when you've grown up yet, dear? I believe you'd make a fine doctor. I think it'd be really cool to be a detective. A detective? Just like in the movies, I could wear a long, funny coat, carry around all sorts of strange tools, and bring bad people to justice. Chuckles. I'm not sure how much money is in that, dear, but you've still got plenty of time to decide. Hannah. Sob.
Who are you? You're Anna's sister, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Anna, she was... I'm sorry, but I'm glad that you're safe, at least. Your family has been worrying themselves sick. I just... I couldn't go out there, not when... I saw what happened. I was afraid. I understand. I'm the detective hired to find out who did this to your sister. Will you please tell me what you saw? Of course. For Anna. Witness account. Please tell me what you saw. Tell me what happened. Anna and I went to bed at 9 p.m. in the first spare bedroom upstairs. Like we were supposed to. But it's hard to sleep in a new place, you know? We talked for a while and Anna had to get up to use the bathroom. She didn't want to go alone in a strange house. So I went, went with her. I think it was, oh, maybe 9.20? We suddenly heard a gunshot from behind us. Without warning or reason, I think it might have, might have hit her. I saw blood on her shoulder, but I was too scared to stop. We just ran. Anna tripped and fell behind. I was a coward. I, I left her. I kept running until I reached the dead end at the back of the hallway and ducked into the bathroom. I heard Anna come running up the hallway outside. I heard two more gunshots after that. She screamed. I screamed too, but I was too afraid to do anything. I stayed huddled up in here, with the door locked. I knew that Anna was dead, but I couldn't quite make myself believe it until I heard everyone else crying outside. I couldn't come out. I was afraid and ashamed. Maybe I could have saved Anna, but I... Anyone would have been terrified. It's not your fault. Who was chasing you? Did you see what they looked like? I couldn't see their face. They were wearing a mask. A Halloween mask. How tall were they? Was it a man or a woman? Did they say anything? I don't know. I was terrified. It's not like I was going to stop and check their figure. I... I think it was probably a man, but I don't remember anything else. They didn't speak. I see. Thank you. Sister's location. Mask? Injury. It looks like there's a gash across your cheek. Did something happen while you were running? Oh, I didn't even notice it before. I was in such a hurry that I must have scraped it somewhere without realizing it. I I'm going out now. I want my boyfriend. Well, guess I didn't have to show her anything. All right then, never mind your father. Is there anything in the bathroom I need? No, it doesn't appear so. Hello, landlady. Ah, I heard that you found the second girl safe and sound. That's great. Y yeah, now I... Now might be a good time to focus more on what people saw and heard aside from just the details of the crime itself, don't you think? I suppose? Everyone has headed downstairs with the safe discovery of the girl. Please join us. I'm looking forward to your conclusions. All right, then. Bossy pain in the rear. Maybe I should place you on the top of the suspects list. Hmm. Oh! Ah, I broke the game! I can just walk out of bounds there. Perfect. Best of luck with your investigation, dear. If you have any questions, I'll answer to the best of my ability. Oh. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Yeah, sure. Evening whereabouts. What were you doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? I si I'm simply the owner. I had no part in the party, and I wasn't invited, too. I simply passed time in front of the courtyard outside. It was a lovely summer evening. I only came inside when I heard the gunshots and the resulting commotion. Victims' movements. Was there anything off about Anna during the party? I was neither... Neither part of the party nor of the family, dear. How would I know? Motives. Can you think of anyone who might have bear a grudge against the victim or the family? I have no true knowledge of the family or the victim. Well, what about you? If you're asking whether I, ha I have a motive, I don't believe I do. What would I have to gain from murdering my customers? 
Customer's daughter. Is there something you'd like to ask of me? Ghosts. I've heard this house has is supposedly haunted by a jealous woman seeking out children. Since you're the owner, you must know more about it, right? Oh, chasing ghosts now, are you? I'm sure there are more solid leads you could be putting your time into. Yes, there are. The only reason the ghosts are mentioned is because they're probably going to be really relevant later on. Nonetheless, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Several guests claim to have seen a woman walking the halls at night, like the one you described. Her name was Miss Marjorie, a single mother who hung herself after her only child died of illness. People like to make things frightening. It's human nature, but I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. If there are ghosts here, they're harmless. Uh, anything else can I show you? The, uh, mask? I don't believe I can help you with that, dear. Uh, sister's scrape, drag marks. I, I have no idea what I could e what I should even show her. This way leads outside. I can't really do that next. It's in here now. Amusement. Oh, I'm in a new chapter, I guess. The victim's sister is safe, but shaken. I found her hiding in the locked bathroom. She witnessed the crime and gave me an account. The next step is to shift my focus to gathering statements from the rest of the suspects and to search the area downstairs. There's no sign of my memories. Yet. Okay. Now what to do? That's the question. Thank you for finding my remaining charge. Safe and sound. Thank- What do you mean, remaining charge? Yes. Evening whereabouts. What were you doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? The party started normally enough. I started- I prepared dinner in the kitchen from between five, 4 and 5 p.m. The girls did help me with that. Afterwards, I served it up and set the cake and presents at about 6. I simply conversed with the rest of the guests once dinner and cake were over. I wasn't as responsible as I should have been. I drank. A lot, actually. I did a rather poor job of watching the girls. Aside from escorting them to bed, I didn't see a lot of either of them after dinner. I was with her poor father and that schoolboy when I heard the gun. How I wish I could begin that night again. I would never take my eyes off Anna. Hmm. Did I... Was there anything off about Anna during the party? I never saw much of her. I'm afraid I failed in my responsibilities. Motives. Can you think of anyone who might bear a grudge against Anna or the family? Nothing springs to mind. I mean, there's a sh there's the shadier aspects of my master's company, but no one here is involved in that. Hmm. Show item. I don't believe there's anything left that I have and said. Can I please just have some space for a while? Okay, I can't show her anything. Wait, what? Eh? Where is it? This isn't funny. Was I pickpocketed? Did I drop it? Well, this is a delightful surprise. What? It's locked, since I somehow managed to lose the master key. Okay, so the text just skipped because I was holding the run button. I hate when games do that. There's the uncle again. Thank you for finding my oldest niece. What a relief. This is a nightmare. Even where? What were you doing during the party? Where were you, were you when you heard the shots? Well, for one thing, I drank. Boy, did I drink. So in other words, nothing unusual. I did a lot of talking alongside my brother. I came down with a bit of a headache at around 8 p.m. Though, after what, what I came in here to rest... After that, I came in here to rest for a while. I needed some time to myself, and I had been planning to sleep on the couch here tonight. I was still here when the gunshots went out. Went off. This is a nightmare. Victim's movements. Was there anything off about Anna during the party? There was. She came to me late this evening while I was resting here in this room. It was about 8.30, I think. She said she wanted to talk. I don't know what it was about, but she seemed rather upset. Nervous, almost. But I was too drunk to pay her any notice. I brushed her off. I wasn't there when she needed me. What would if she have... She have said, I wonder, but she still be alive. Motives. Can you think of anyone who might have bear a grudge against Anna or the family? Unless my brother's business problems crept into the party, no one comes to mind. 
Hmm. Hmm. Bloody boots, too. I only know so much, you know. This is a nightmare. Mask. I only know so much, you know. Sister's location. Little statement. Children's beds. Fuck, I don't know what they even show them. Hmm. Wait a second, is that a mask there? Ah, it's the mask. Could this be the one the victim's sister mentioned? It was hardly hidden. Was anyone anyone ever in this room besides the uncle? Let's see, what do you got to say about this? Oh, that strange thing. It's been sitting there on the table since I got here, but I have no idea how it ended up in this room. It was actually one of Anna's birthday gifts. It was? Heh, <sighs> yeah, she had quite a few cheapskate friends. She was lucky her dad was so well off. He gave her much better gifts, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Can you prove that the mask had already been moved here by the time you came in? Eh, not really. Is there a reason I should have to? I see, never mind. Hmm. Thank you for finding my daughter. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I only wish that Anna was as safe and sound as her sister. You know, I don't actually recall hiring a detective, but I'm so glad that you arrived. Eh? It wasn't you that hired me? You don't know who called you? Not really, I mean... I couldn't recognize the voice over the phone, that's what I meant. Maybe it was the landlady. Landlady? The owner of this place. She's the only one who didn't know Anna, after all. It's only reasonable to think that she was li likely of... She was likely of the soundest mind. Who is this landlady you're speaking of? I've never spoken with any owner. I rented this place out by speaking with a man over the phone. What a mistake this whole thing turned out to be. Eh, you don't... Never mind, it's nothing important. Huh? If you say so, you're the detective, after all. I'm still counting on you. Please help find my daughter. Find peace. Anna. Can you tell me about the rest of the evening, from the time you arrived here up until the incident? What were you doing? We arrived at the mansion around 4 p.m. There were many more guests earlier in the day. I spent the majority of the evening talking with them. We had dinner, cake, and presents at roughly 6 p.m. If memory serves correct after that, it was right back to talking. We all drank a bit. Even after the majority of the guests left, I still relaxed in the main lounge. Our nanny and that wretched boy who hangs around my girl were there too when I heard the gun. I never actually saw either of my girls much during the party. I should have been more diligent. It was Anna's birthday after all. And now? And now I won't see her again. Hmm. Motives. Or no victim. Did you notice anything unusual in the way Anna behaved recently? How was she during the party? Sir, there was something I didn't pay much notice at the time. Oh lord, how I should have. Please, sir, tell me what it was. It was around 7 p.m., I believe. I was talking with the rest of the guests when Anna came up to me and asked if we could speak. I don't know what it was about, but I was engrossed in conversation, and I can't imagine what could have been more important than my Anna now, and told her to run along. What could she have wanted to tell me? I'm so sorry, Anna. Okay. So Anna wanted to say something. Motives. Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your daughter or your family? Well, my company, it's... Let's just... Let's just say there are certain people who aren't particularly pleased with me right now, but certainly no one here. And those of us who are left are the, are the only ones who were present during the incident, as far as I know. She was close to my brother... She was close to both my brother and her nanny. They wouldn't want to hurt her. The only one I'm not particularly fond of is my oldest daughter's boyfriend. But I never saw him as so incapable of hurting my girls. Not like this. A bit seedy, perhaps. But not a murderer. I'm at a loss. Anna. Hmm. See if he knows the mask. It was a present, wasn't it? I've told you absolutely everything I know. All right. What's this bad? Oh, hello, you two! Anna, I still can't believe it. 
Um, thank you for finding my girlfriend. Can the two of us leave now? Not yet. Please stay here until I've sorted everything through. So, you still suspect me, huh? Fine. At least it's quiet in here. Evening whereabouts. Can you tell me where you've been this evening? Where were you when you heard the gun? I've been with my girl all evening. Honest. Well, she went to bed at 9 p.m. anyway. I was just hanging out in the main lobby when I heard it. Her father and nanny were there. At least it's quiet in here. Did you notice anything strange about Anna during the party? Look, I never spent much time with the spoiled brat, alright? She wasn't the sibling I'm interested in. Okay, man, you're a douche. Motives. Can you think of anyone who might have held a grudge against Anna? How the hell would I know? I barely knew the kid. How about your girlfriend? No, nothing on this level. This whole thing is insane. Hmm. Maybe he recognized the mask. That's the only thing I really... God, I have too much, too much stuff. I'm not a walking encyclopedia, all right? I never planned on being a witness. All right. What is it? I already shared everything I saw. You already told me about the incident, true, but what were you doing during the rest of the evening? Oh, well, I was with my boyfriend, of course, though I went to bed at 9 p.m., just like Daddy always insists. Naturally, that was before getting up to use the restroom and being attacked. What is it? Victim's movements. Did you see your sister much during the party? Did anything seem off with her? I didn't actually see her much before bed, I'm afraid. I was busy with my own things. Had I known that this would be my last night with her? Is there anyone who might have wanted to hurt your sister or your family? N no, not as far as I know, at least. Let's see if she recognized the mask. I feel like the mask is, the, is, a, is a big thing here. That's... That's definitely the mask the shooter wore, wretched thing. Where did you find it? It was in the living area. I see. Hmm, it didn't update it. Uh... Sister's Scrape. Alright. I don't think there's anything in here. What? I've collected quite a bit of info now. I doubt that I'm going to be able to get much more from anyone here. Maybe it's try maybe it's time I try to cut the suspect's list in half. With everything I've learned so far, three san stand out as the most suspicious. The three most suspicious people are Um Review okay. Let's review the clues. The statement here. <clears throat> Sorry was with the victim's sister from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. when she went to sleep. With victim's father and nanny during gunshots. With nanny's sister's boyfriend during gunshots, okay, so. So what this tells us here is that the father, the boyfriend, and the nanny could not have been the killer, because they were all, they are all with each other. And I highly doubt they, they, they'd be in on it anything together. Those three people are far too unlikely, so. That strikes the boyfriend. The boy, the boy, okay, the friend, the nanny, and the father. That leaves us with the uncle, the sister, and the landlady. What was about him that was dis suspicious? Oh, great, I have to actually choose? It was the mask. The mask was in his room. That's what's suspicious. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. What was that? Uh, the fact that was his boots, that was it. I was about to say it was his gun, but no, no, the gun was the dad's. Bloody boots. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. What was about them that was suspicious? Oh, great. There's another one? Ah. Uh, bloody glove prints, bloody gloves. Can't be the troubled victim thing. No, I don't think this relates to him. What was about them that was suspicious? Let's see here. There was something else about the uncle. Victims. Oh. Bloody boots belong to the victim's uncle. Very little blood. Hmm. 
Troubled victim, uncle. Victim asked to speak at approximately 8p, 30 p.m. Uncle was too drunk to pay much notice. Girl seemed nervous and upset. I don't think that's what makes him suspicious. Children's beds. The beds of the victim and their older sister were apparently sleeping on appeared undisturbed. Landlady's like... Ghost story. Sister's scrape. She must have been injured during the chase, the chase, but says she doesn't remember how. I think the game wants me to pick the troubled victim thing, but I don't think that 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 really makes him suspicious. No, I don't think this relates to him. Okay, it was something else. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Which one is it? Hmm. Let's review the clues one more time. Friend's statement. Was Nanny Grunshot's landlady's statement. Landlady was alone passing the evening in the courtyard. Didn't attend party. Was, was alone. That's it. That was it. The fact that he was alone makes him suspicious. The uncle. Not only were his boots used during the crime, the mask the killer was supposedly wearing was also found in the room where he rested. Perhaps even more notably, he was alone when the gunshots went off. No one else mentioned seeing him. He has no solid alibi. It seems too easy for it to be the uncle. It's clearly... someone's clearly trying to set up the uncle. The next would be the landlady. Uh, landlady's statement. No, no, it was the landlady's identity there. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. Hang on a second. The landlady's identity was the father doesn't ever remember speaking to a landowner. He, he rented the mansion over the phone. Strange. L Sister Scrape. Landlady's statement is the fact that she was alone. So that's it. Choose proof. Landlady's statement. That's right. Yes, the landlady. No evidence connects her to the crime, but the fact that the others never seem to notice her presence is odd enough. She had ample opportunity and has no solid alibi. The final suspicious person is... Well, it has to be... Since the father, the nanny, and the friend were all have alibis, it can only be the sister. What was it about her that seems suspicious? Quite a few things. And let's check it over and figure that out. Where's sister's statement? Was with boyfriend 4 to 9 p.m. When she went to sleep with Anna upstairs, was on the way to bathroom, when attacked and hid inside. Does that make her suspicious? No. By that statement alone. The children's beds, that's what makes her suspicious. The beds were untouched for some reason. Re on odd reason. Sister's scream. Heard screaming while gunshots went off. Body was found in the second floor closet. Appears the murder took place in the same floor as hallway. Hmm. Worn by the victim's father. The victim lost a lot of blood. Hmm. Sister's location. The victim's older sister was found hiding in the upstairs bathroom with a door lock. That is suspicious. Sister's location. That's right, and that's not all. There was something else. The sister's statement, I believe. No, I don't think that relates to her. Okay, I was okay. I thought the. I knew that wasn't gonna be right, but I thought the game might have. You know how it is with some of these de detective games. Sometimes stuff that seems point seems dumb. You have to pick. Um, what was the other thing? I was just looking at all these. Landlady's statement. Children's beds. No, oh, come on! That is so clearly makes her suspicious. What is it, then? A crime scene? Hmm. Her scrape. That was it. It's at the very bottom. That's right. Yes, the sister. One thing that's certain is that she was at the scene of the crime. If she's telling the truth, then she's innocent. But if she isn't, 
All right, I've narrowed it down to the uncle, the sister, or the landlady. But there's one thing I'm lacking in all three of their cases. A motive. Let's see what I can do about that. But I'm not quite sure where else to look. Sigh. A shame that I lost the master key. You again? Don't look so dismayed. I'm here to help, you know. I noticed that the doors to the kitchen and dining room were locked, so I did a bit of digging and happened to find this. Mess area key. It's not the master key, but it should get you inside these two rooms. Since they're still locked, I'm taking the liberty of assuming that you lost the ladder. What's with you, anyway? Whatever do you mean, dear? Don't play dumb. You're constantly butting into my business, yet no one else has made mention of you. Why then, perhaps, I'm the mansion's ghost. That was a joke, dear. Please make haste with the rest of your investigation, all right? Hmm. After all, the sun is about to come up. Giggle. Well, at least I've got the key to work with now. Let's wrap this up. Indeed. Let's check out the kitchen. Seems the victim had no shortage of presents. Though they won't do her much good now, they're all, they'll all go to waste. She'll, she was clearly loved. It seems the victim had no short. Okay. What's this? Hey, what's this card doing all by itself? It's open. Should I take a peek? Dearest Anna, leave or I'll get rid of you myself. I'm not afraid to make this birthday your last. Well, okay. That's a very fucking lovely and lovely little card. This is. It's a threat. This murder was clearly premeditated. But why would someone threaten a little girl? The scrawl is messy. Whoever wrote it must have been trying to hide their handwriting. Yeah, so this is clearly what had Anna troubled. All right. Hmm. Lies and love. I've narrowed my suspects list down to three people. The, uh, yeah. The victim's uncle, her sister, and the peculiar landlady. Now all I need is a motive. The investigation is nearing its end, but I don't remember anything more than I, than I did when I started. Will I get my memories back, won't I? Hmm. I think I'll save. It's been a little while. What's this? Seems the victim had no shortage of presents. Yeah, a freaking chest filled with gold. That's a good presence. Yes. I don't think there's anything else I can uh, talk to her about. I have to. I have to check out the uncle. Wait. First, let's go here. There's gotta be something in here. The gloves were found in the kitchen, I believe. What's this document here? It doesn't look like it belongs in a kitchen. Wait, this is... It looks like an inheritance deed of some sort. Okay, uh, uh, you, the sister did it. The sister clearly fucking did it. The, the moment you, you write inheritance, it means the sister did it. That's exactly what it means. Put it bold on the screen. The sister did it. She did it for the inheritance money. There's a logo for a bank embedded on the bottom. I'm not one for legal speak, so I'm not quite sure what it says. I think I should make it my business to find out. I smell a motive. It's a good thing someone just left this lying around. Hmm. Let's ask the father about it. God, I have too many freaking items now. Uh, wait, where is the inheritance deed? Threatening card. Let's try that first. What? What is this? Where did you find this? It was lying by the rest of her presence. Who would do this? Who would want to get rid of my poor girl? What bastard wrote this? Whoever it was, I'll... Sir? Anna, why didn't you tell me? Or maybe it was me who wouldn't listen. Anna, I'm so sorry, Anna. Maybe I should just leave him alone for a while. Hmm. Inheritance deed. That's... Where did you find this? I found it lying on the table in the kitchen. It's some sort of inheritance deed, correct? That's right. I was discussing it with our nanny earlier. I must have simply left it there. How foolish. What does it say? 
Why do you need to know? It's possible it could be related to the case. I have to look at the situation from every angle. It details what I would like done with, with regards to my bank should I pass away. My brother and our nanny get small shares, but it was actually Anna who was to take over the company. Now I don't know what I'll do. Her sister isn't cut out for it. Not cut out for it? That's right. They were never great to begin with. And after the passing of her dear mother, my oldest daughter's grades slipped dangerously low and haven't recovered. Unlike my bright Anna's. She's fuck. she just, today's her 10th birthday. There's nothing proud of, nothing, you, you can't really be proud about being able to pass like freaking elementary school math, man. Anyone can do it. The only, the only difference between the people who can't is just they, they, they don't care enough. Oh, I don't care. I, who cares about public education? Due to her age, it was originally going to be my eldest daughter, of course, but she'll never be the leader that Anna could have been. I just recently had the bill revised, and I plan to tell Anna tonight, on her birthday, but I never got the chance. Yeah, the sister did it. Sister did it. Sister did it. Like, it's so painfully obvious the sister did it. Hmm. I think I know who the killer is. I need somewhere quiet to think this through. There can be no mistake. The answer is obvious. The person who killed Anna is the sister. It was her. Oh, of course you had to show up. Ack. A giggle. Oh, did I startle you, detective? I'm quite sorry. All I wanted was a glass of water for my dry throat. Did she... Did she hear me talk... Talking to myself? Okay, you, you weren't supposed to... You're not supposed to actually talk aloud. That was supposed to be thoughts, man. Girl. Detective. Come on, it's written across that disgusted look on your face. If you have something to say, then say it. Y you... You killed her. You killed your own sister. Did I now? That's a heavy accusation. I don't believe you can back it up. I can prove it just fine. Go ahead and try. Oh, what is this music? It's loud. There's nothing there to prove. I love my sister, you know. I can't imagine what I'll ever do without my beloved little sis. Oh, really? Because I happen to have evidence that suggests your relationship may not have been so rosy after all. Start small. I need evidence that proves the sister were at odds. That would be the... Uh, where, where'd it go? Wasn't it... Is that the bottom now? Okay. Inheritance deed. What? Heh? I don't follow you at all. No, that's not what I meant. What I meant was... Oh, come on! Was there something else then? Uh... What was it then? Was it... What proves they were at odds? It, it had to be the inheritance deed. I don't know, the children's bed then? You claim that you went to bed together at nine, just as you were supposed to. But the beds were made when I checked them. They looked completely undisturbed. Children don't truly make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, do they? I'd say the beds were never used. You were fighting, not sleeping. She was probably afraid of you. Tch. Is that all? What makes you think we were fighting? We could have been having a late night slumber party for all you know. The conclusion that your fight that you were fighting stems from everything else. These are the other pieces of the puzzle that point to a troubled relationship. That proves the sister were at odds. Oh yeah okay. So now now do I use the inheritance seed? What? I don't follow you at all. Oh, fuck's sakes. Oh, come on! The inherited steed is so fucking obviously what I should use here. Uh, what else is there, then? Uh... Threatening card, I guess? I found this- Oh, come on! There's no proof she wrote this! That's not proof! I found this mixed in with Anna's birthday gifts. Someone threatened her. I believe it was you. Belief is not proof, detective. Nothing points to me as the writer. Exactly, that's why I didn't choose it. Hold on for a moment and you'll see where I'm going with this. 
Anna was terrified of you. In fact, I believe that she moved against you first. This is preposterous. Anna would never do anything to me, and I'd never do anything to her. The bed means nothing, and the note could have been written by anyone. None of it points to me as the culprit. I'm getting to it. We should move on to what happened next. I believe these pieces of evidence tell the tale for us. I need... I need proof of what happened during the incident that incriminates her sister. Uh... Sister's location? Well, I don't know. Is it someone's statement, I imagine? Sister's statement. Okay, uh... Let's review the clues. Sister has a gash across the street. She was injured during the chase. I not remember how. Is it that it? Is it the scrape? Because that's not really proof either, but neither was the last thing. You had a fresh, unbandaged gash across your cheek when I found you in the bathroom. That's no simple scrape. It's a bullet graze. That's... What are you talking about? There were only three shots fired total. Her shoulder, her ankle, her head. Anna took all of them. How incompetent do you think I am? I need proof of what happened during the incident that incriminates her sister. That's... I don't... I'm not really following here. Alright, gonna have to look at the clues again. Hmm. Stray bullet. Right. Okay, I guess this, it's a stray bullet. It has to be. Anna was the one to take the gun from your father's bag, wasn't she? Not you. She was scared after seeing the card. She wanted to talk to her father and uncle about it, but they brushed her off. She knew that she had to protect herself. Okay, I think... I think saying the ten-year-old stole a gun is a bit of a stretch. There's, there's nothing that kind of points to that. She fired that bullet out at you in self-defense before you took the weapon from her. You hit her three times, but she got you once. But there were only three gunshots heard, wasn't there? You got a hold of the weapon somehow. You must have hit or kicked her, but you weren't a great gunman either. You shot her twice before managing to take her down with a third. And even then, you had to stand at close range to hit her head. But you managed it. You even planned ahead after you saw your sister take the gun. You took gloves from the kitchen and slipped up. your own shoes into your uncle's boots. You dragged your sister's body to the closet. You likely cleaned yourself up in the bathroom. I doubt he knew what you were doing, but you, you even went so far as to have your boyfriend cover for you while you prepared. You didn't want to get caught. That wasn't all, all in your original plan, was it? You had a few telling issues. There was something strange about the crime scene that could indict a indict a child like her. What was it? Uh... It was the drag marks. Oh, come on! It clearly had to be the drag marks! Anyone else would be able to lift a freaking ten-year-old! Ugh... Why does it seem like... Ugh... I think my logic was pretty sound here. What was at the crime scene? His father, bloody gloves. Bloody glove prints. Rims were rusted shut. Inheritance deed. The Halloween mask? I don't know. I think the drag marks are very sound. I'm not really sure what else I should pick here, in Aaron and Steed. No, wasn't this scream? Bloody glove prints? There was something odd, almost- What? What? About the crime scene, there were a couple of bloody glove prints left on multiple windows upstairs. Was the killer going to throw the body and the rest of the evidence into the yard below? I think so. They clearly tried awfully hard to get those windows open, after all. Now, those windows were tough. The rims were rusted shut. But I believe most adults could still get them open if they tried. But a 14-year-old girl? Perhaps not. I think my... I, I was more... I think my explanation about the drag marks makes more sense. 
You were forced to hide the gloves and boots under the bed, but the body wouldn't fit, so the storage closet it was. The amount of blood also suggests that it was dragged slowly by someone weak. Oh, okay, sure, let's just... I was right after all, but uh, I guess I don't get to pick it. You no longer had time to escape. You had to hide in the bathroom. You had a bit of a hard time with the whole thing, didn't you? But what about the mask? Don't forget about the mask. The killer was wearing it, but it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene or me. Heh. <laughs> What's so funny? The mask was was never worn by the killer. Don't forget that it was you who told me about the mask. All I have is your word for it, and since you're the killer, make no mistake, you are. It clearly never was never used. Ah. You knew that your uncle was planning to sleep in the living area. You took the mask from Anna's gifts and planted it there beforehand for a bit of insurance if need be. Tell me then, Miss Detective, what motive would I have? Even if I weren't joined at the hip, Anna was still my sister. And that's just it. Eh? She looks nervous. I bet she's praying that I haven't found it. This is the final nail on the coffin. Oh, oh. I've been waiting for this moment. It's the inheritance deed. Take that! I found this on the kitchen table. Your father was going to announce it tonight, but you happened upon it and read it first, didn't you? It says that you're no longer your father's heir. You were already jealous of your sister, weren't you? When you saw this, you snapped. You planned and executed the murder. You murdered Annabelle, your little sister. Heh. <sighs> You weren't supposed to find that, you know. I locked the doors as soon as I got out of the bathroom. It was easier than hiding it, but I guess it wasn't enough. She has the master key in her hand. She must have pickpocketed me in the bathroom. Anna deserved it. She killed our mother. She ran out into the road. She would have been the one hit, but Mom pushed her out of the way instead. She killed her. She killed the mother who loved me and left me with a father who doesn't. That's not true. Your father was worried sick. He loves me very- he loves you very much. He'll be devastated. Heh, <laughs> not in comparison to Anna. He doesn't. I was always the afterthought. It was always my dear, darling, bright, beautiful, lovely, intelligent, sweet, perfect little Anna. Well, no more. His perfect little Anna is dead. The tip of that key suddenly looks rather sharp. What? You are wrong about one thing, though. I hated Anna. But I did love her, too. When I wrote the card, I wanted her to run away. I didn't intend to kill her. But when I saw how she was afraid of me, when I saw her grab that gun and huddle in the corner of the bedroom, something came over me. I thought I may as well prove her right. Ack! The key! She stabbed me with a key. But it doesn't hurt. There was no blood. The gash. It already healed. What witchery is this? What? What happened? It doesn't hurt at all. G ghost! It's true! There's a ghost! I was a ghost all along! Well, it's a fucking diddly squat plot twist there. G ghost No way! It can't be! You're... Anne. No? Nah? What? What?! I was the victim? A Anna? Hey mama, look, there's our bus. We're on the wrong side of the street. Anna, stop, come back. That's the middle of the highway. But we'll miss it. I don't want... Anna! Mama! Ma... Mama? It's a dead end. Hack. Please don't. Sleep well, sis. That's right, of course. I'm Anna. How. What? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. I was murdered ten years ago. How did I get back here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so- No, you're not sorry, first of all. Second of all, what the fuck is going on here? How did I- 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 I'm- I'm a ghost? From the future? 
Sis, I don't know what came over me. I can hardly believe it myself. I'm... I screamed when I pulled the trigger. I cried in the bathroom even though I tried not to. It wasn't like I wanted to be found right then. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. You aren't going to make father lose both of us, are you? What should I do with her? Oh, fuck. I th Turn her in! Turn her in! Sob. Sob. I still can't believe. I'm sorry, sir. No. Now perhaps my living daughter can get the help she needs, and now perhaps my Anna can be at peace. For that, I thank you. It's a shame that a police had to get involved, but I suppose there was no other way. She'll be in jail for a long, long time. I just can't fathom how my girl could do this. How could a child of mine... Just make sure she knows that you love her, too. But after what she did to Anna, I'm sure that Anna forgives her. And I'm sure that she wants both of you to be happy. Get help for her sister and keep on cherishing each day. Work on bringing the family closer together. That's how she would want to be honored. Live for her, too. Sniff. Heh, <sighs> you're right. You're right. That's exactly what she'd say. Thank you for everything. You're wise beyond your years. It's nothing. It's just... I know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. Please be happy too, alright? I will. Well, I ought to be going. Everyone else is already waiting outside. You know, if Anna had gotten to grow up, I'd like to think she, she would have become someone like you. It's funny because she actually did. Thank you and goodbye. Why is my phone going off right now? Oh. Hello? I love, I fucking love when I'm trying to record and I, I love when I'm trying to record and I get a freaking spam survey call. What a fucking wonderful time for that to happen. That's good. That's good. Just have it a nice little moment here and that happens. Y'all, y'all hear that lovely little voice? I held it right up to the mic as, it, as I freaking started listening to it. It's great. Well, what a great time. Anyways, back to the back to the murder mystery. Goodbye, Dad. You, you have some explaining to do. M Marjorie. Okay, she was a ghost. So you remember me again. I'm glad. Of course I do. I'm not sure how I ever forgot. You're like my mother after all. Marjorie, what's going on? This all happened 10 years ago. My sister was never caught. Why are we here? Spirits aren't bound by time. Without flesh to bind us, we're as free to walk through the years as the living are through the physical realm. But that didn't make up for the agony of remaining trapped in this gloomy old house. A place where we can only walk at night. A prison. For me, it was the regret of my lost daughter that kept me trapped here. For you, it was the way your sister simply walked away. For your 20th birthday, I thought we should do something rather special. I took you back 10 years to the day you became trapped here with me. Your memories got a bis bit messed up during the journey, but it couldn't be helped. I think it was necessary. If you hadn't solved the crime on your own, it wouldn't have held the same meaning. Time isn't static. You've changed the past. You've uncovered the truth behind your own murder and decided what you- If you could go back in time and and change this shit all along, why the fuck didn't you? And second of all, why did- if, of all the things to change when going back in time, how about you change the part where a bullet didn't fucking kill me? That's all I'm saying. But okay, this is- this is absolutely ridiculous. Did I do the right thing? That's something you have to answer yourself. But I am so very proud of you. Spirits don't have to age. You could have remained the little girl you died as, but you blossomed into a beautiful young woman under my care. I raised you. 
I feel like I'm finally at peace too. Ah, where are you going? We can finally leave the house. We can move on. Can't you feel it too? Come with me, dear. I want you to meet my daughter, and I'm sure your mother is waiting for you too. I would say that you kept her waiting long enough, but with what you've changed now, I suppose you haven't kept her long at all. Follow me, and happy birthday, dear. Given the circumstances, I suppose this is the best gift I could have hoped for. Mother, I'm coming. All right, design written and created by Tears of Nightfall. All right, well, we've reached the end of this. I give my uh, give my a little little bit of thoughts here. Now, this was actually a pretty fun game, a cool little murder mystery. I actually like the mechanics, although I think I the mechanics of like showing evidence and that is pretty cool to see an RPG maker. But um, I think I think like maybe a, a lot more could have been done with the idea. Like, it seems real, it, it seems, the game seems kind of, like, experimental, and then that, like, it's just sort of tr testing the waters with a lot of, the, a lot of what it does. I don't think there's, uh, there's more of this. Like, I don't think they ever made a sequel or anything else like it, but, anyways, this is a pretty cool game. Pretty enjoyable. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, anyways, that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next time. We'll watch, we'll play some more crazy video games. If y'all got any, uh, RPG Maker games you want to see me play, you can let me know. Send me a message or something. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and see y'all next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.